Oh, that is an immediate, an immediate improvement. <laughs> ah, so much better. Okay, this time I think I fixed the music for real. Uh, yeah. So, Fire Cavern. Although I will say this is just a little bit loud. One second. Okay, that's a little bit better. I know how to junction magic. Yes, I know how to use the gun blade. So, here's how this area works. To obtain a low level GF, a seed member must support. Are you ready? Actually, I should heal first. May as well use up this, because I have plenty of it. Okay, now I'm ready. So here's how this works. We are given a time limit. We are graded not on how long we take, but on how much time is remaining when we're done. Let me go ahead and check this. But I believe the best score is, uh, here we are, the best score is if there are seven seconds or less remaining. Now, that is a little bit iffy to me, because it leaves no real margin for error, so I usually aim for the next best score which is under 30 seconds. And, well, you'll see how we do that when we get there. Uh, 20 minutes should be fine. We can take as much time as we want coming out, so we're gonna rush straight to the end going in. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, Quistus, you are great. At least sometimes. Uh, okay. Cannot do that in this game. <laughs> Good to know. Thunder and scan. I mean, I'm in here, so I may as well fight these, right? I could just run away. Missed my trigger on that. Uh, but I didn't. Well, emstone pieces are valuable, so it's fine. Oh, actually, I will draw that. I have plenty of time. Bombs! Do bombs have anything other than fire? Hmm. They do not. Uh... You know, I don't want to fight you. Wait, do I get penalized for running away here? I didn't think of that. Uh... Because I know there's one area where I will lose... take a penalty for fleeing. You know, I, I should be fine here. Okay, I'm going to want to find one of these guys on the way out, because I can draw Fire, Thunder, and Blizzard, and I want... I'll, I need a little bit more magic for a little bit later on. That I won't be able to create using 
That won't be a crate in time using items. But that's for the way out, not not now. It'll take probably ten minutes to collect the magic I want from that guy. It'll only be doing it the one time, also. And here we are at the end. That didn't take very long, did it? I guess I was right. You and Scyther are a class of your own. You both have amazing strength, and I didn't see the rest of it. You know, I could reasonably have done this in ten minutes, probably. But I'd like to... I like to play it a little bit safe. Check it out! Okay, I can draw a fire, cure- oh, you have scan? I didn't even need to get this earlier. Huh. Well, whatever. We are going to use Shiva against E3, because that makes sense, right? Man, not on Shiva. Dude. And it is actually select on my controller map to do this. You hit the button that makes the menu go. If I had boost, I would be able to boost by now. And it would make me hit harder. But I, I don't. And I won't. So I'm not. Now I happen to know that Ifrit here has just over a thousand HP. That number is important. You know, I may as well take this time to stock up on cure. Save myself a little bit of time later on by doing it now. Okay, we have done about 328 damage? That number sounds correct. Impudent humans! Come to think of it, he was supposed to tell me off for using Shiva against him. I don't recall seeing that. Okay, that is 496. No, 498. Hmm, I didn't get a very good draw that last time. Uh, a little bit better. When casting magic from draw, it does uh, scale based on how many spells you draw. Even though it doesn't show you that that's what's happening, that is what's happening. Okay, that would put me to 600 and... let's call it 680.
so let's see. This might be the last diamond best. I said 680 before. That would be, you know, yeah, that would be, we're going to do this now. We're going to do that one more time. Oh, too slow. Okay, one, one more time now. This time I'm going to deliberately not crit. And now I will use Scan, my trump card! Yeah! Because here's the thing. 96 HP, that's an important number. I can kill him in two more hits. But, the timer is still going when we're in this menu, but if we cannot attack us. So, the natural thing to do is to open up this menu, now that he's almost dead, and wait until there's, say, 90 seconds left. And, I, as a child, I've literally set a timer for this before. <laughs> It is a little problematic here, though, because I can't really go and do something else for the next 10 minutes. Uh, seeing as that's the case, I am actually go prob I think I'll actually exit out of this menu and draw some more magic from Ifrit to save myself some time later on. Uh, but this is my recommended strategy for getting a good seed rank. Which is important later on. We want to finish with as little time as possible. The best way to do it is to overestimate... The best way by far to do it is to overestimate the time you need and then open up scan so that you can go away until you've almost run out of time after you've nearly killed Ifri. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go draw some magic now. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Well, I'll see you in approximately eight minutes, in fact. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, before I go, one more thing to worth mentioning. I said it so Scan always opens up that menu, but by default, it'll show you the full thing only once, and then it'll be a quick animation after that, which you cannot stack yourself in. So just something to keep in mind. Now I really will be seeing you in, oh, about seven and a half minutes. Ah, excuse me. Okay, we got about 90 seconds left. That means it's time to come back here. <laughs> uh, yeah, once... I've hit Avery one more time in the last seven minutes. So one more hit from Squall will finish him off. I just need to wait for the timing to be just perfect on that. Uh, in fact, I'm probably about done drawing as well in that regard. <laughs> Managed to get 100 Cure and 100 Fire, which will save me a lot of time later on. On my way out, rather. Uh, I just need the timer to get to... Say about 20 seconds. You know what? Can I, uh. No, I cannot actually defend. Okay, that's good. For me to lose to a human! Very well, I will join you! Notice that the timer is... Ooh, that feels really close. Stopped at three seconds. <laughs> we did it! We got Ifrit. And Ifrit's card. 
almost more importantly. <laughs> there isn't much time, but let's, let me go over this real quick. Oh yeah, we can do elemental attacks now. I don't, I don't, I don't need the explanation possessed. Uh, I mean, I could do that, but I'm not going to. At least not here. Uh, I'm going to put Ifrit on Quizzist, in fact. Uh, wait. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm gonna give it a Squall. It's not gonna be with Squall for very long. <laughs> Let me tell you. That is so much better for Spirit. And Blizzard will be better than... Excuse me, Cure for Strength. You, meanwhile... Oh, huh. Well, okay then. Works for me. And I also need to set you... Uh, let's see... Elemental defense is pretty good. HP is good, but the way I usually distribute these... Uh, no, we'll go for HP as well. Let's also check. That's 33. That is 30. Well, yeah, they would be both 33. Counting the days... Or battles, I suppose, until I have a card. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna need, I need to redistribute some of my magic, but I can do that later. Actually, wait, no. There's something I should do now. Uh... Quizzes is much better at drawing magic than Squall here. Therefore, let's do that. Let's give Squall this stuff. Because the thing I'm going to do against that one triple bat thing, Quizzes is going to draw two elements and Squall is going to draw one. Uh, probably fire, given... no, not fire. Uh, thunder, I guess. While Quizzes here will draw both fire and blizzard. And then... I will be done drawing spells from chump enemies, pretty much. I want to draw them na this stuff now, partially because it's a convenient enemy because I can draw all of them from it at once. Partially because, um, what's it called, uh, Thunder. Hmm. What was I saying? Right. Partially because I legitimately need a couple spells just essentially for filler uh, until I get better ones. Uh, and partially I want to leave it off off the chump ones because eventually all of my party will have their magic stat junctioned. But it's frankly, it's not really... Aside, outside of establishing a base value, it's not really worthwhile to draw magic before with a character who doesn't have their magic stack junctioned with because the magic their magic is just too low for it to be worthwhile. Oh hey, and we found it. So like I said, this will probably take between five and ten minutes, and then we'll be just done. So, uh, see you once I'm done! Ha ha! Lasers! Limit break time! Qu Quizzist is the game's blue mage. Which lets you do cool stuff like that! That's, that's her default one. I've, she hasn't actually learned any new abilities yet. Ah, uh, not quite enough. Okay, uh... 
Oh no. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, there will be a time when I'm totally fine with using cure to actually heal, but right now is not it. Okay. So let's get out of here. <laughs> Maybe we'll heal if we find an enemy that I can draw a cure off of. But otherwise. Uh, actually, I will find a couple of enemies, simply because I really want to get card. <sighs> Did I actually finish? I guess so. Okay. Probably shouldn't use fire on a bomb, I'm thinking. Like, the best case scenario there is that it heals itself. Probably it just heals itself, but I feel like it definitely would have exploded in some of the older Final Fantasy games. I come to think of it, I actually think I want an item from a bomb anyway. Hmm. No, no, there's definitely items that I want from bombs. It's just... Eh, they aren't that important. But they would be nice to have for later on. I guess I could junction Blizzard to Squall's elemental attack. That would make it me kill these guys more quickly. But honestly, it's, it's not a big deal. I'm only even fighting them because I want a card. Also, come to think of it, hmm, come to think of it, I set Shiva for strength first, right? Is that gonna... No, yeah, no, that, that makes sense. That's like 50. By the time I get that, Ifrit will be on a different character. Really, I shouldn't be putting Ifri and Shiva on the same character anyway, because they hate each other, and... Well, I I'll show you, actually. If I go in here... GFs have a compatibility stat, which I gotta tell you, on a standard PS1 display, is literally unreadable. Uh, but I can read it here. Now that stat goes up and down based on various things. If you summon them more, it goes up. You can use items that make GFs like you more, uh, and a few other things. But notably, there's a, some GFs hate each other, and if you use a GF that another one hates, then the GF will start like, liking you less. In the case of Shiva and Ifrit here, if you use Shiva, Ifrit will hate you, and vice versa. And that's important because the higher your compatibility, the more quickly you can summon a GF. A low, and therefore conversely, a low compatibility means that a GF will take forever to summon. Okay, so, first of all, you got card, therefore, I don't actually need card mod right away, so, let me think here. Wait, really? Oh, you also have HP, mm. Okay, we'll go with Vitality on Quizzicult. And we will immediately give Quizzist the card ability. Turns the monsters into cards. The name sort of tells you what it does, but 
There's a little bit of subtlety here. I'm gonna try to get one battle to show this off. Aha! Uh, this will prob- like, I, I don't one-shot this guy, right? Like, I actually wouldn't be able to do- oh, I kind of want to do Renzoku Ken. It's, it's pretty cool, but- oh, that's pretty low. Uh, but we'll, we'll try this. Card works based on, uh, the closer they are, the enemy is to being dead, without actually being dead, the more likely it'll work. There are some enemies that are immune to it, but, well, it lets you turn them into a card, so you get a card for your playing game. You get no experience, which is actually a good thing, but you do get items and AP, both of which are really important. Uh, the only real flaw with this strategy is I'm not sure if GFs get experience, uh, and you do sort of want them to get experience, but uh, I digress. I'm going to be using card... I'm go going to be attempting to cardify pretty much every random encounter in the game. Or at least close to it. There are only two parts in the whole game where I care about being at a, p at a particular level. Uh, where that level isn't as low as possible. And I will mention them as they come up. Mind you, I'm not going to be perfect. There are going to be some enemies that I will gain experience on. But, I'm I'm going to be trying to turn as many enemies as possible into cards. Which is useful for the card game, is useful for the reasons I just elaborated on. And it's also useful because eventually I'll be able to take all those new cards I'm getting and turn them into items. Which I can then in turn do other stuff with, like make magic. Plus also, and I feel like this really can't be overestimated, I think the game is li this game, uh, if it hasn't yet become clear, is really easy to break really badly. And I honestly think it's more fun if I go around trying to cardify things, <clears throat> as it does add a little bit more challenge to the random encounters. You know, can I draw a cure from this? No. Right, well, on that note, this, I think, is where I will leave you off. So, join me- wait, yeah, join me next time when we do the Seed Graduation Mission, or whatever the hell it was called. Until then, I have been Chaos Blue, and this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, and have a great day. Bye!